Thanks, my letter to the dead. Nostalgia for catastrophe. I've been steady falling, steady balling in my unwashed pillow. Jacking off my unwashed ball sack. And you can laugh at that, but don't you dare judge me. I've lost everything that I could fucking lose. As a youth, I was abused sexually, physically, mentally. I guess I'm just a product of society's rejected entities. Am I meant to be the good's antagonistic enemy? Or am I meant to be public enemy number one, man? Uh. And don't be mistaken thinking these rhymes are fun These rhymes are nothing but suicide prevention And don't even mention my fucking sister She got caught in the storm and could not overcome it And I could do nothing, I didn't see it coming She said she was okay, the second last day And I said okay, and she said I love you And I did not reciprocate and now it's too late She's passed through those final gates That poor, poor girl drowned in that ocean And I'm here hoping that heaven is real I just hope she found her peace And got to meet our mom Meanwhile, I'm stuck here with hell to confront Damn, I don't wanna live this life no more Don't wanna fight no more If the floor is the bottom, then I'm free falling If the floor is the bottom, then I'm free falling Fuck Then the Lord rained upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah Brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven And he overthrew the cities and all the plain And all the inhabitants of the cities And that which grew upon the ground but his wife looked back from behind him, and she became a pillar of salt. No nostalgia for catastrophe. It's not called depression when your blood flows like acid. I fucking had it. I'm fucking out here fighting every day for this art shit. And all that I love has sailed ship And I'm here standing on this desolate island Where words that weren't spoken A heart that's been broke choking on the love that I never gave And I sleep in a grave with the devil He don't even speak, he just smiles He's filled with glee for the way he's fucked me I can see it in his eyes He loves my demise and wants me to spite God Almighty Damn How tempting Fuck that. Right I'm, right I'm repenting. You'll never break me. Call me a martyr, cause I will push harder. I'll stumble nobly toward the kingdom of heaven. I used to be an atheist, full blown nihilist, and I saw the folly in my arrogant ways. Locked in a cage for my whole youth. I was poverty stricken, my father was missing. Mother doing drugs in the fucking kitchen. Now fucking listen, I have fucking nothing but a dream. Like Martin Luther King, like Malcolm X said If you stand for nothing, you'll fall for anything My mother's a heaven sent, my sister's a heaven sent And I'm just a lonely pilgrim Yeah man But when I step on a beat, you know I kill them You know I kill them, man Poetic There's no excuses whatsoever for not getting up and getting at it That's what it means And it means that it even means that when people are beset with a catastrophe, like, let's say, the death of their father, that they are prone to use that as an excuse for not going about the business that they should be going about. Because they can say to themselves, well, I would accept. And accept, there's always good reasons. I mean, believe me, there's always good reasons for not doing what you should. That's for sure. The reasons pile up day after day to not do what you should. Especially because you're, you're aiming at things in the future. You can put them off indefinitely, right? Because of the demands of the day. But these stories, they say a variety of things, you know, and especially in combination. They say, when you leave somewhere terrible, do not look back. There's no nostalgia. That's, that's the letting dead parts of yourself go and then if you're going to follow the good there's no excuse not to do it and that does, and it means no excuse whatsoever under any circumstances and then it's taken even farther with regards to familiar relationships it is you can't even let them stand in your way and I think that's all true like there's no excuse whatsoever for not getting at what it is that you should be doing it's absolutely reprehensible to justify your inaction with a catastrophe that extracts mercy from other people, right? There's a tricky, tricky game that's going, well, of course I can't do that. Look at the terrible thing that's just happened to me. So, yeah, okay, I understand. You're absolved of any necessity to move forward because of your current catastrophe. 
It's like, well, actually you're not. And it's rather rude of you to use it as an excuse. And it's certainly counterproductive.